These six faces will never be forgotten. The lives of three Covenant School students and three staff members were senselessly cut short the morning of March 27th after a gunman opened fire inside the school. And we still don't know a firm motive, but earlier today, documents written by the shooter were leaked to the public. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you being with us. It is a shocking twist in this case that has impacted so many families and sparked frustration among gun reform activists. And tonight we have team coverage of what this all means and where the legal case surrounding the documents goes from here. First, New Channel 5's Nick Barris with a look at what was leaked and what it tells us about the killer. For more than seven months now, the so-called manifesto left by the Covenant school shooter has been sealed, tied up in courts, and now suddenly a snapshot. A few pages out of potentially hundreds have been made public. The day has finally come. Conservative talk show host Steve here. Crowder posted photographs showing three pages of the school shooter's writings. I'm surprised that this leak didn't occur sooner. Legal analyst Nick Leonardo uh, says pressure built as courts heard arguments on what to release from potentially hundreds of pages of journals filled by the shooter. But there's not any gag orders out there that would prevent any, you know, um, parties or anyone uh, who's associated with litigation from leaking this information. So Those someone gave the pages to Crowder. Proof. What we know is that the photos appear to have been taken by an investigator the day of the Covenant shooting. Two journals likely recovered from the shooter's Honda parked there in the school lot. The journal is dated March 27th, that day labeled Death Day. Three pages of graphic, hate-filled language, angry and full of threats, with a specific itinerary. We figured that this person was, you know, had some mental health issues, had some anger issues. I mean, I think that's bore out. Uh, I think that anyone that engages in an activity like this has to be very cold, very callous. I think that's in these writings as well, just a very matter of fact. For now, it's unknown who leaked the pages. It's a given dozens of people from law enforcement to lawyers have had access now to the documents. Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell has ordered an investigation into how they were released. It is important to remember that these are just three pages out of potentially hundreds written by the shooter and left behind, released in a vacuum and with no context. Now we will see if all of the documents may be released to provide a fuller picture of how and why this shooting happened. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. And legal experts say this leak very well could spur the Court of Appeals to more quickly reach a decision on what to do with the rest of the documents.